Hey friends, good morning. It's um, Thursday morning. It's a little bit after 8 and I am at the Wawa in Quakertown. You can see that right there. Um, I'm on my way up to Vermont and I just thought it might be kind of fun to uh, do a few video clips along the way and see if maybe this works out to actually be something worthwhile stitching together into a little uh, travel log of sorts. I doubt it will be very interesting, but hey. So I'm ready to go. I just got to get gas, and it's rush hour here, and this Wawa is enormous, and I'm going to have to circle the gas pumps like 16 times. Uh, I just had a big panel truck pull in next to me, so I can't see anything. I don't do well in traffic, guys. Anyway, I wanted to show you, and I'm going to have to cut away and, and turn around to show you this, but I wanted to show you my little travel set up here. So this is my, um, what I'm, what I'm taking, I'm traveling here. Uh, I've got this nice, actually this is a really nice case that my friend Christian gave me. Uh, I'm very grateful for that. It's a, it's a fantastic travel case. I've got, uh, four pipes. This is my Nirup. Um, this is, a that Crown Achievement Billiard that you've seen me smoke, uh, many times. <clears throat> this is a little, uh, 7LE 311 KS. Uh, another gift from Christian, actually. Christian's a important part of this trip. Um, and this is my uh, Denny uh, Bear pipe. And we're traveling today with a jar of Haunted Bookshop. And that's it. Um, that's the only tobacco I'm taking. But I also have a fine selection of cigars here. I think there's six cigars there. Uh, some of those Carnassado, um seconds that I was telling you about and also some uh, uh, leaf Sumatra. And since this is just a one-way trip, which I'll tell you about in another, as, as we go along, uh, I think I've got enough tobacco and cigars to keep me quite happy. Well, assuming so, I managed to show you all that, I hope you... Hope you enjoy that. So I'm, I'm well set for the eight hour ride and uh, I am about to get off. So I'll, as things come up along the way, I'll try to check back in and uh, keep you, keep you posted and I don't know, maybe you'll enjoy this. Take care guys. I'm in my wife's car or my, my wife's old car. Uh, she bought a new one and that's why I don't have anything set up in here. I don't have my normal, uh, set up where I can show you where I'm driving and all that uh, because I am taking the car up to Vermont to uh, to give it to my dad. Uh, my wife bought a new, this is a Hyundai Santa Fe, she bought a new Santa Fe. This is a 2006 so it's, it's a bit old but it's actually in great condition. It rides fantastic and it's been well maintained so I think my dad can get you know a couple more years out of it without any problem. And his car just started giving him trouble, so it just seemed like a good idea. So my plan is to drive up today on Thursday. Um, on Friday, transfer the tags and title and all that stuff. And then spend the weekend. And then on Monday, they're going to drive me down to Burlington, because they're up in northern Vermont. And I'm going to fly from Burlington back to Newark. And because there are no direct flights. Well, there are a couple of direct flights to Philadelphia, but they're ridiculously expensive compared to the flights to Newark. And the other ones were, you know, with stopovers and stuff. And it's like a 45 minute flight, so it doesn't make sense. Anyway, my wife then will drive out to Newark and pick me up and then we will drive back home. And I go back to work on Tuesday. So it's gonna be a, an interesting uh, couple of days here, but at least I've got some time to, uh, to relax over the weekend, spend time with my, my dad and my brother and sister, and maybe see some some uh, sights in northern Vermont, and I'll take you along for that. I'm not going to do a lot on the road unless I see something really, you know, worthwhile uh, pointing out. I'm not going to do much of this driving talk because the camera, my phone doesn't, it, I don't actually have a way to hold it, so I'm not terribly happy doing this. I'm constantly afraid that it's going to flip over. Plus, it's unfamiliar driving, so it's probably not for the best that I that I have the camera on right now. So, with that, I will go, and uh, I'll catch you soon. 
Well, it's um, about 9.30 and got my first traffic jam. Close the window so you can hear me. Um, I'm just outside of, well, it's like Flemington, New Jersey on I-78 and it's just come to a crawl. There was an accident earlier according to my GPS. I, I, it, I thought it was cleared by now because I got the warning right after I left the, the gas station which was just a little bit after 8. But apparently the, um, the effects are still being felt. was thinking as I was driving along here about um, CB radios. I don't know if any of you guys remember or are old enough to remember CB radios that were pretty popular back in the 70s, maybe early 80s. I don't know if truckers still use them. I'm guessing they do. But uh, yeah, it'd just be nice to be able to just kind of talk to people as you drive along here. I guess that's why I'm talking to you. Well, if nothing else, it's a beautiful day to drive. I'll try to show you. Well, you can see out the window there, can't you? There you go. Nice, it's not too hot. It's... Of course, it's still early. But, clear, no. Slightly cloudy skies, but relatively clear. It doesn't look like there's any threat of rain right now, which is good. Anyway, just thought I'd check in and share my traffic woes with you. Catch you later. Well, I stopped for lunch. This has not been a... Uh very good trip in terms of stopping places so I stopped at I think it's called Slotesburg which is close to Poughkeepsie uh, I did yell hi Artie and uh, I stood in line for 20 minutes to get a Dunkin Donut coffee and I wanted a coffee with cream and after 20 minutes I get out to my car and find out that the coffee's black uh, such is life. So I drank the coffee. It's now, uh, it's almost one o'clock actually. Um, I am at the new Baltimore rest area. I think that's right. Just outside of Albany. So I'm making okay time. So I went in to get lunch and the lines were just ridiculous. I wasn't going to spend another 20 minutes standing in line for bad food. So I went to the little uh, gift shop and I got an apple and two cheese sticks. So that's a fine lunch. And I also got some bottled water so I can clean off my apple. And I'm ready to get back on the road. Uh, traveling in the United States is always fun. We're here at the Adirondack Welcome Center. Which is, of course, home of the Adirondack Chair. Can't forget that. This is the uh, little brook trout stream that I have fished in in the past. It's quite low. They haven't had a lot of rain this year. So, no fishing for me. This is back in the property that my dad's house is on. You can see it's fairly dense woods here. I think if I push back there I can follow the stream and there's a pond. But I haven't uh, quite gotten to that someday. Someday. I'm here uh, on my dad's property, uh, just looking around in the woods. On my last day in Vermont, I'm actually going to be getting a flight out tomorrow, Monday morning. I had hoped to do a video from Isle Lamont today. But we had an emergency come up where the water tank in the house broke and we had flooding and 
been dealing with that since 6 a.m. It's currently about uh, 2 o'clock, I think, in the afternoon. Uh, we got it under control. So that kind of ruined uh, my plans for the morning. But, you know, it's all good. We got, had to get things done, and we got them done. So unfortunately, I won't get to show you Isle Lamont, which is really a beautiful, peaceful place. This is a uh, leaf by Oscar Sumatra. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy this, uh, find my way back out of the woods, and <laughs> I will uh, be back, back to work on Tuesday, and I will probably see you for a roadway ramble on Friday. So, hope you all have a, a good time until then, and we'll talk soon. Uh, hello all, it's uh, a little bit after 8 o'clock on Monday morning, and I had to... Uh, run down to Morrisville, uh, Vermont, which is the closest town to where my dad lives, just to pick up a few things from before uh, I head out, and he's, him and my sister are going to take me to the airport in Burlington, so my flight's at 1 o'clock, uh, I want to get there about an hour early, so we're going to leave around, uh, around 10 o'clock, that should be plenty of time to get there. So, it's been been a great visit I'm, you know really good to see my brother and sister and my dad and everything uh, it didn't go exactly the way I planned I was really hoping to be able to do some video from uh, a couple of scenic spots and in particular Isle Lamont which is out uh, on Lake Champlain it's really beautiful there's a Catholic Church there and it's a shrine to St. Anne and it's actually one of the oldest it might be the oldest Catholic Church in North America I don't remember uh, or at least the site of it is the oldest uh, Catholic church in North America. But it's very beautiful. I try to get there every time I'm, I'm up here. And unfortunately, it just didn't work out this time. So, I'm back to the near up. I have rotated through all the pipes. But, uh, well, I've rotated through them all several times now. Uh, and this is still haunted bookshop because that's all the only tobacco I brought with me. And, you know, when I travel in a fairly simple set of tools. I usually take a Bic lighter and a soft tamper because I don't know what TSA is going to do and I don't care if I lose these. Oh, that's good. So this will be the last pipe I have before I get on the plane because I don't smoke around my uh, my nieces and nephews, and I think my nephew's going uh, going with us to the airport. Not that they don't know I smoke, and not that I'm trying to hide it from them or anything, it's just their mother would, she's never said not to do it, but I just know that it would bother her, so I just choose not to. And I think that's important, you know, it, it, as much as I don't like the, the anti-smoking crowd, and you know, I think that the political arm of that is terrible, and and the non-political arm is generally misinformed. I do think we got to respect people's opinions, and, and uh, you know, when you're in their space with their kids, you, you do the thing that they would like you to do. That just being a, a good person, uh, you'd expect them to do the same on whatever issue you might be. Uh, concerned about. Anyway, I just wanted to check in. I shot some footage yesterday from the woods around my dad's house. I don't know how well that's going to come out, so I wanted to make sure I had one last uh, sort of way to wrap this video series up. It wasn't as exciting as I had hoped it would be or in, as interesting, but uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it's been a nice trip and I hope you've enjoyed coming along. So I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.